before the script was ever even written, we were kind of banging back ideas back and forth about this and about what it might feel like to shoot something that, you know, in essence feels a bit like a live action Pixar film. Now as Brian's ducking, yeah. I'm gonna do one where you go over like that. You know what I mean? So they're still yeah. holding. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the arch that takes Ryan there. Okay. Shooting practically is the most important part of any movie, whether it's all practical or there are visual effects elements, because your job is to bring people into the movie as honestly and in a real way as you can. I've known John for, God, I, I guess 12 years, maybe 15 years, I'm not sure. Um, long time though. Um, yeah, we live near each other, our kids are friends. It's like, it's kind of the best of every possible world. You know, so shooting this movie has been, been amazing. To be shooting it here in New York as well uh, is such a rare opportunity. I think I've shot one movie in New York and it was 16 years ago. Thanks to you coming over here last night, I was like, well, oh, huzzah, this will be your tete a tete right to Okay, so can I see you here just for lighting? And then we will rock. The way he writes, the way he directs, the way he acts, he can do it all, which is not normal. Most people can't do that. And continuing, action. Yeah, just uh, changing the record. John is is such a, a a brilliant dude, and like it's a beautiful story. It's it's not like the Quiet Place. Very different. He might do that to try to catch it, but if it comes this way, right? If it comes this way and moves. This. Ryan was attached to this movie from the very very early days. I think John had Ryan in mind for the part. Ryan is one of the funniest people on the entire planet. Um, he's so he's kind. He's caring. He's everything you could ever want in a friend and a co-star. Cause he's so effortlessly hilarious. He's so into his character. He's so deep and he knows the industry well. He knows the business. He knows what's up. I am so excited for my kids to see this and totally terrified for my kids to see this. going to be uh, the, the most honest critics of my entire life. What I liked about the story was definitely because of the IFs, just like, because like, I like how kids like use their imaginations, like, don't hold back. Last time I saw you, you were about uh, that tall. What is going on? I've lived in New York for, I don't know, 12, 15 years now, and it's, uh, um, it's such a rare opportunity to get to shoot at home. So for us, it's been, for John and I, it's been great because, you know, a lot of the days that we're shooting, we're able to walk our kids to school and go to work. John is unstoppable. I mean, he's, you know, I, I, you, you meet him at the end of a week and he's just as enthusiastic as he was on Monday. He seems to never get tired. He loves what he does. I think he has a real passion for it. He loves this movie. He loves these characters. And that really makes a huge difference, I think of how the story plays out, and getting to act with him was so fun. It all comes from a place of total and pure love. It's, it's not just fun and uh, funny and adventurous and magical. It's, it's also very heartfelt because I think that when you're dealing with the, the things that are most important to kids, it is heartfelt. So good, Kelly. Wow. Okay, ready? 